the Mega Man series. Known for its challenging gameplay, memorable music, and iconic characters has entertained gamers since its debut in 1987. And over the years, the series has branched into multiple sub-series. So what I want to do in this video is share what I consider to be the best 10 Mega Man games that you can play through emulation today. This list will include the sub-series such as the X games and no games that release collections of multiple games. All emulators mentioned in this video will have my setup guides posted in the description below. Starting the list off is Mega Man 3 released in 1990 for the NES. This game built on the success of Mega Man 2 which in my opinion was a funner game. 3 added new gameplay elements like the slide ability and introduced the character Rush, Mega Man's robotic doll companion. The game's narrative expanded with the introduction of Pro 2 Man who is a prototype of Mega Man and his older brother. And this really added to the storyline. The game is challenging but yet fair as all games will be on this list. The emulator I recommend using to emulate this game is the NES emulator Nestopia or RetroArch. Next is Mega Man 8, released in 1996 for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn. Mega Man 8 brought the series into the 32-bit era with colorful graphics, full motion video cutscenes, and voice acting. The game introduced new gameplay mechanics such as the ability to swim and a variety of new weapons. It also featured the returning duo of Mega Man and Bass. The nice visuals, diverse stages, and soundtrack made it a standout to the series at the time. The emulator that I recommend using to emulate this game is the PlayStation emulator Duck Station. Number 8 is Mega Man X, released in 1993 for the Super Nintendo. X revolutionized the series with its transition to the Super Nintendo, or SNES, whatever you prefer to call it. It introduced a more mature narrative, new gameplay mechanics like wall dashing, and Mega Man was able to move more quickly and easily. The inclusion of upgradable armor parts and the hunt for hidden items added depth to the gameplay. Mega Man X blend of action, exploration, and decent storytelling made it an instant classic. I recommend using the SNES emulator SNES 9X or RetroArch. Seven is Mega Man 2, released in 1988 on NES. Now, a lot of people will say this is the best game from the series, but I will disagree, although it is fun. Being the second game in the series, it did refine the formula established by its predecessor. With eight new robot masters, each boosting unique stages and weapons, the game introduces an engaging balance of challenge and reward. And if you are a diehard Mega Man fan, you will remember the iconic Dr. Wily's Castle theme soundtrack. Also, the introduction of the energy tank item made Mega Man 2 a definitive experience that set a high standard for the series going forward. I recommend using the NES emulator Nestopia or RetroArch. <laughs> Six is Mega Man 7, released in 1995 for the Super Nintendo. Seven was the series debut on the SNES, bringing 16-bit graphics and sound to the classic formula. The game features some nice visuals, an engaging story, and the introduction of the character Bass. With new mechanics like the Super Adapter and the ability to purchase items, its balanced difficulty and polished gameplay made it a memorable entry. You can emulate this game using SNES, 9X, or RetroArch. <laughs> the 
The halfway spot goes to Mega Man Zero, released in 2002 for the Game Boy Advance. This title introduced a darker, more mature storyline set in the future. The game features Zero, a character from the Mega Man X series, as the protagonist. It offered a more challenging experience with new mechanics like the Cyber Elf system and a focus on melee combat. Zero's plot and intense difficulty made it a standout title that hit handheld and not console. The emulator I recommend is the Game Boy Advance emulator, Visual Boy Advance, or RetroArch. Four goes to Mega Man X5, released in 2000 for the PS1. X5 continued the X series with a strong narrative focus and multiple possible endings. The game introduced a new mission system where players had a limited amount of time to stop a space colony from colliding with Earth. It also featured more emphasis on story with character-driven cutscenes and dialogue. It allowed players to choose between X and Zero, each with different abilities and offered new armor upgrades and weapons. The emulator you wanna use to play this is the PlayStation 1 emulator, Duck Station. <laughs> Mega Man X2, released in 1994 for the Super Nintendo. X2 built upon the success formula that the first game had brought, offering new abilities and enhancements. The game also introduced the X Hunters, adding an extra layer of challenge and replayability. It featured the innovative use of the Capcom CX4 chip, which enabled 3D wireframe effects. The game has some refined gameplay mechanics from the first game, hidden secrets, and a nice difficulty. I found this game to be better and enjoyed it more than the original. The emulator to use is SNES 9X or RetroArch. The runner-up is Mega Man 11, released in 2018 for the Nintendo Switch, PC, PS4, and Xbox. As of the recording of this video, this is the newest Mega Man game. 11 marked the series' return with a modern twist. The game introduced the double gear system allowing players to slow down time or power up attacks, adding a new layer of strategy to the classic formula. With updated graphics, a polished soundtrack, and continuing to deliver challenging stages, it blended nostalgia with fresh gameplay mechanics. The emulator you want to use to emulate this game is the Nintendo Switch emulator, Ryu Jinx. My number one pick is Mega Man X4, released in 1997 for the PlayStation and Sega Saturn. The game marked a high point in the X series. For the first time, it offered players the choice to play as either Mega Man X or Zero, each having different gameplay styles and was a joy to play as both. Mega Man X had great gameplay, great level design, and memorable soundtracks all made this the best entry in the X series, as well as the best Mega Man game of all time, if you ask me. The emulator to use is the PlayStation 1 emulator, Duck Station. So let me know in the comments what are your favorite Mega Man games and again all of my emulator setup guides are in the description below. Thanks for watching.